Well, hello there. Good evening. Welcome back to YouTube Wednesday. I'm Sue with Avis Bridal Couture in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And today in this video, we're going to be talking about wedding veils. And I'm doing a whole series answering all the important questions that you have about how to wear a veil, types of veils, to blusher or not to blusher, and so many questions about veils. If you have not started shopping for your dress or your veil or your alterations, let me know in the comments below or send me a direct message. I would love to welcome you. The first thing we're gonna do today is I'm gonna cover how to wear a veil in three different places. The first position is 12 o'clock, right on top of your head. And this example has a blusher, but I'm gonna show you some that don't. And then this next position, which is my favorite because it's where I wore my veil on my wedding day. And it's also where brides tend to feel most comfortable if they're unsure is the three o'clock position. So crown of the head. The third position is gonna be under an updo. And this is really great, especially if you're gonna be doing your hair up and you wanna have it underneath. I'm gonna link a couple veils in the description box so that you can see different ones on our website. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment below and tell me what your plans are. Now let's talk a little bit about blushers. When you're shopping for your veil, your veil might actually come with a blusher already attached, like this one here. I'll link this one in the description box for you, but it has a horsehair trim and it's circle cut. I like the way that when I move, it just flows well, and a lot of the wedding dresses have horsehair trim in the hemline, which kind of ties it all together. Now I'm at the three o'clock position, and I want you to see what happens when you try to put your blusher over your head with the three o'clock position. So this might look good on camera, but the veil is actually so far back on my head that it's crushing my hair, it's in my eyelashes, and it's touching my lips. <laughs> we don't want this because it just, it's laying on my face um, and my hair, and it's just a little bit awkward underneath. It looks great, and it's actually pushing the veil away from my face. Um, so just keep that in mind. And this is ideal for a blusher, and when you put it over your head, it lays really well. It still stays really sheer, but now it's not touching my face and eyelashes. So really watch the placement of the comb. It doesn't have to be right in the front of your hairline. It could be just somewhere at the top of your head. Try it a little further back, a little far forward, and you'll be able to see what I mean. Do I look like a bride? You can practice this at home, and you'll notice that the further back you go, the more awkward the blusher gets in the front. A lot of the designer veils that we carry do not come with a blusher, and that way you can really personalize it. It's really cost effective to add a blusher. You can either add it to the same comb, or you can do two separate combs and wear two combs on your wedding day. Now, a lot of us have some anxiety about wearing two combs, and if you have any concerns or questions, just go ahead and comment below. If that like totally throws you off, I will walk you through that and we'll try that on. If you're adding a blusher to your veil, you're gonna want the short layer first and the longer layer second. You can wear your veil forward on your shoulders for a little bit more coverage, 
more formal look, a more innocent look, you know what I mean? But a lot of us will push it back or take it off for the reception. When you have two combs, it's, it's really convenient because you can just take one off and just do a lighter look for your first dance or just walking around at your reception. So I had a cathedral veil on my wedding day and I did a longer blusher like this. I just like the volume that it gave me having the second layer, but I never wore it over my face. So you really have a lot of options. I think um, as weddings get more and more personalized to the bride, there's not this rule that you have to wear a second layer over your face. I know I didn't, a lot of my friends didn't, but some of them did. So it's really a game day decision. And if you buy a blusher and you decide on game day that you're not gonna do a, an over the face, totally good. I'm gonna link some of my favorite veils in the description box below. That way you can check them out on our website. If you have any questions about veils, alterations, wedding dress shopping, I would love to answer them with you. I'll include my contact information. I'll even include a link in case you want to go ahead and get started and book an appointment. Comment below and let me know, are you planning to wear a veil or a headpiece or something in your hair? Tell me more about what you're planning to do with your hair. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the comments. I'll link some things for you in the description box. Have a great week. I'll see you next Wednesday.